It's August 13, 2012. I wanted to share a couple of things that really kind of concern me. In a lot of my friends were talking about our freedom and our liberties and how our American way of life um, is pretty much disappearing. And two small things, but it's the small things that kind of creep up and sometimes you don't recognize what's happening until it's too late. So to yesterday, during the Perseid meteor shower, we were out at the lake, at Lake Hefner in Oklahoma City. And uh, my boyfriend and I were there maybe, maybe two minutes, and a police officer comes up and basically says we have to leave. And the reason he gave is what really bothered me. Uh, he said um, we had to leave because Timothy McVeigh blew up the Murrow building back a few years ago, and I'm sure you know about that tragic event. And so they're worried that maybe somebody might blow up the, the dam at the lake. And for so many reasons, that doesn't seem plausible to me. And the, the main thing is, Timothy McVeigh blew up the Murrow building at 9 o'clock in the morning, broad daylight. So why? And he had to, these, this police officer moved, probably, there were probably 10 or so cars parked pretty far apart from each other, but it, we, it wasn't an original thought. We were not the only people that he asked to move, but the reasoning just defied logic. So that was one thing, maybe not that big a deal. The second thing was tonight. My daughter took me to Crosby, Stills, and Ash for my birthday, and it had been a couple years since I'd been to a concert. And I know that they check purses and things for weapons, and that doesn't bother me. But tonight, all I had was my oxygen bottle, and um, which is right here. And I was using it, and I walked over, and they, they wanted to pat me down. And I've never been patted down in my life, and I'm over 50, and I didn't figure I was going to start now. Now, my daughter had bought the ticket, so I could have probably refused and not gone in, and it just really aggravates me that I had to go against my better judgment and have my person violated. Um, for Again, I'm not opposed to looking out for crazy people, bad guys, weapons that are going to hurt the good people, but they're going a little bit, well, a lot way too far on the other extreme. Now, what they want to do this lady put her hands on my waist and on my hip. This is like such a screwy, false sense of whatever. Um, first of all, if I wanted to carry something in that was deadly, I had, was wearing jeans. They didn't pat down my legs. I could have had a knife. I could have had a pistol. They didn't even look in my oxygen bottle. I could have had a bazooka in there for all you know, intents and purposes, a bomb of some sort. They didn't even look there. And then, like I told the security guy, that until they start doing cavity searches, people are, can sneak things in. So what is this thing about putting their hands on somebody's waist and hip? That it just drives me crazy. That's all I have to say. Uh, keep on fighting. We have to call people down on these little pieces of our rights being violated. Again, I'm not opposed to doing, like if it had been a metal detector, I understand that. But this kind of crazy half-baked pat-down does nothing good. And I'm thinking that it's probably employed. They had more security there than I've ever seen. Um, People are making money off this deal, this fear thing. Now, are we going to quit going uh, to concerts? Are we going to quit going to movies? Um, are we just going to give up our, our freedoms? Or what's, what's going on? Anyway, thanks for listening.